Now, with only 41 days until 2019, we thought that we'd ask Hamish, our resident designer, to tell us what the forecast is for Interior Design Trends 2019. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, guys. So, How are you? Good. Really good. So what are we talking? Um, what's on trend for our homes next year? Well, lots of things, really. Uh, plants? I, are they still in? Yeah, so kicking off with plants. Yes, the answer is plants will still be in. I think probably what's going to shift is the uh, style of plant that we're going to be seeing. So uh, probably moving away from the sort of the clustered basket of, you know, single little things hanging. We're going to see groupings of plants hanging. Love that one there. Okay, that plant there is the Chinese money plant. I'm going to try this out for you. Philia pepermoides. <laughs> uh, I love it. It's like floating lily pads. And yeah. you'll notice it's in a terracotta pot. So we're going to see a bit of terracotta coming back in Good, because that's so convenient. We're seeing, we're seeing palms and things like that still growing, fruit salad plants. So some of the stuff we've, we've already got is going to be carrying over, probably more foliage rather than flowering plants. And we're seeing a lot of variegated leaves coming in. What's variegated? Variegated, two colours. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, look okay, at that. Cool. Yeah. variegated? I mean, it's very cool. It, I mean, it's simplistic. You're seeing it in neutral sort of pots, so you're mm. seeing your terracottas and kind your timbers. Kind of a bit retro too, it feels. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all flowing from that Scandinavian sort of feel. Mm. Okay, nice. I love the big plants. Love them. Look great in homes. Moving on from plants, there's been a shift to more sustainable materials. You know, when you think of yeah. like keep cups and stuff like that. So, how was all that translating? Into well, design? Uh, yeah, like everything, um, the interiors sort of start to follow suit after things like fashion and bits and pieces. And you're right, sustainable materials are going to be seen. We're going to see it in our fabrics. They're going to be more natural, they're going to be more woven, that sort of thing. Uh, and you're probably going to find them in such things as couches. Uh, oh. You know, you're going to see them in throws, you're going to see them in cushions. You may even see tapestry if you're unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a decent tapestry. What about, um, you were talking about sort of the, the whole earthy thing. What about other colours? Okay, so this is where we're going to see our burnt orange coming in. Yeah, we're going to see our mustard. Uh, we're going to see warm beiges coming through, which uh, warm beige tones coming through is going to be heading towards our terracotta land. So it's the kind of thing that people have pulled out in the past and now they're sort of bringing back. You know, we're going to have our royal blues coming back. Accents yeah, nice. with natural timbers. Uh, like that. You know, and, and you can mix your timbers. Parquet flooring uh, is on its way back. We're going to see a fair bit more of that as well. Okay, so for next year's set design, we've got a bit of black. <laughs> Do we need to change it? Well, um, black is back. Uh, okay. You know, uh, more matte black. So I think we're running on trend with what we've been up to. Uh, black is the new white. Well, Dare so I not, say it. You're not talking about painting your room matte black, are you? Well, you can do. Recently, I've been using it on uh, ceilings and wardrobes and all over the place. And I've actually had a house of my own that painted all the walls all black. Uh, you know, they can you know, be like, you can see it in the flooring. There you go. And There's that an looks example. Awesome. I You've like got that. your white, your matte black doors, and your matte black flooring. So okay, that looks good because I was thinking sort of like a 16 year old chairs. goth's bedroom or well, something. Well, yeah, avoiding that. I mean, you see dining room chairs and black lightings, black tiles. Uh, black window frames, black frame glass. Uh, no, I've seen know. a lot of black kitchens too recently. Yeah, and, yeah. and a lot of black light fittings are, are back. And there's a clever use of black on walls. So you can see like it's, it's yeah. colour blocking and it does work. Uh, and you've got to remember that you do have windows and bits and pieces in, in walls which give it relief. And gold goes nice with black. So are we seeing a bit of that? We are. And thankfully we no longer see rose gold. Uh, never been a massive fan. Uh, What's wrong with rose gold? Well, no, in hanging pot, it was oh. it was that real chain sort of structure thing. We're seeing burnished golds toned with the black, you know, um, true cool. golds, mirrored yeah. golds, but it's like an antiqued kind of gold. It feels real 70s. That yeah, I mean, I, I love that on the couch. So we're yes. you know we're we're bringing back a gold velvet, which is really really cool. It's a, it's a it's a bit of opulence, but it's quite a soft gold. It's not like that rose gold was very in your face. Yeah. So we talked, um, we've talked about plants, yep. getting nature into your room, colour. Uh, what about the trend that I absolutely love, which is comfort? Lots of snuggliness and, <laughs> yeah. you know, snuggly. It, it's been popular. Now I'm going to read this off my notes because I learnt this phonetically. It's actually pronounced Huger. 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 Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's um, basically creating a cosy, warm retreat. And that's where we've been. It's that Scandinavian vibe because uh, it is a Danish, uh, it is a Danish design style. It's light pastels, weathered timbers. There's nothing bold and strong really with it. Uh, you know, it's it's the greys and the wash palettes. But I think you're going to see more and more of black sort of superseding some of those greys. Nothing says comfort like a black wall. Well, this is it. But see, then you can get the light version of it. So it does cross a lot of boundaries. And you can bring in your, your pastels and bits and pieces and your, your deep sort of velvety purples and bits and pieces, which oh. are on trend at the moment, of course, because that's Pantone colour of the year. Uh, one thing that is uh, sort of coming on a bit more, though, and I'm reading this one too, it's La Gomme. Okay, now that mm, is the lovely. Swedish version yeah. of it. So it's much the same thing, although it's more about moderation and wellness. So there's probably less stuff. 
Right, you said moderation and wellness is a big buzz at the moment. Well, apparently it it is. Mm. (laughs) Uh, You you know, uh, there's a lot to remember when it comes to designing. Uh, Can people give it a go themselves or should they just hire hire an expert like yourself? You should definitely hire me and pay me lots. (laughs) Yeah. And what if we can't afford you, Hamish? No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I think the main thing here is to remember that you can follow trends on Instagram or Pinterest and all your other bits and pieces. It's accessible now. Uh, You can buy magazines, I still like to do that, and you can get design books. The idea of them is to give you inspiration, find out what you like, and then Mm. how you interpret that is is your thing. If you're going to take a teeny bit because you can't afford the whole big bit, what would be the one thing that you would take, and how would you incorporate those colours and stuff into your room? Paint. Uh, is probably the most cost-effective way to do it because you can paint walls and when you want to change them you can paint them out. From paint you could keep your existing furniture and maybe change it with throws and cushions because they can be picked up at a relatively um, reasonable sort of price. But pick your, pick what you're after and then see what you've got and how you can make that fit. Awesome. Brilliant. Great tips Love as that. always. Thanks Hamish. Awesome. Um, really great and some beautiful interiors.